In March 2013, then 30-year-old Joanna Dennehy went on a crime spree that rocked the people of England and left several men either dead or injured, making her one of the most infamous serial killers in British history. When she was finally apprehended for the Peterborough Ditch Murders, law enforcement learned that Dennehy was driven by a sadistic lust, which was noted by the judge who later sentenced her for her crimes. In fact, Dennehy was determined to be so cruel, calculating, and selfish, killing seemingly without motive. She was given a sentence that British court reserved only for the most vicious and dangerous offenders making it unlikely that she'll ever be able to brutally attack another unsuspecting man. In order to get her victims into vulnerable situations that would make it easier for her to kill them, Joanna Dennehy used sex to lure men to their deaths. In the case of Lukas Slavazuski, her Polish roommate, he believed Dennehy was his girlfriend, and she used the closeness of this relationship to convince him to meet her at an empty house that belonged to her landlord. Shortly thereafter, he entered her home. Then he blindfolded Slavazuski and stabbed him to death. In addition to the professional relationship with her landlord, Kevin Lee, Dennehy was also regularly having sex with the married father. So, she was able to get him to meet her at the same property where she killed Slavazuski. After murdering Lee, she returned home and stabbed her roommate, John Chapman, six times killing the middle-aged man. After murdering Lukas Slavazuski, Joanna Dennehy placed the young man's body in a trash can, and the killer was so proud of the murder she had committed. She showed the 31-year-old's corpse to a teenage girl. She was also unable to stop herself from boasting after killing her roommate, John Chapman. So she called one of her friends and sang lyrics from Oops, I Did It Again, a song by Britney Spears. Allegedly, Denny also danced after seeing television coverage of the murders, indicating she clearly got some pleasure and joy from her brutal and depraved crimes. She convinced two men to help her carry out her crimes, and although they didn't actually help her stab her victims to death, Gary, Stretch, Richards, and Leslie Layton assisted Joanna Dennehy by disposing of her victims' bodies, dumping their corpses in ditches for her. Richards who was more than seven feet tall, and Leighton later claimed that they didn't want to help Dennehy get rid of the bodies of the three men, but they agreed to assist her because they were afraid of the 30-year-old woman. After disposing of the lifeless bodies of John Chapman and Kevin Lee, Joanna Dennehy and Gary Richards drove to Hereford, a town 140 miles from Peterborough, in search of people to attack, with Dennehy telling Richards, I want my fun. On April 2, 2013, Dennehy, with the help of Richards, attempted to murder two men, Robin Bereza and John Rogers, who were simply out walking their dogs. She stabbed Bereza once in the shoulder and once in the chest, and ten minutes later she attacked Rogers, stabbing him forty times and puncturing both of his lungs. Britain's most dangerous female prisoner, Joanna Dennehy, threatened to kill Rose West within minutes of arriving in the same jail. Staff at the Bronzefield Prison in Surrey were so worried that she would murder West that the 64-year-old was put into solitary confinement within minutes and then moved to another prison the next morning. <laughs>